Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and in this video I would like to talk about how to fix WWE 2K25 slow motion issue or the WWE 2K25 slow mo problem when you're trying to play the game and how we can fix this so let me directly get into this step. So the first point is all about we need to turn off the resync. To turn off the resync, we just need to get into the game. Now from here in the game, we need to navigate to the extras. Now from here, you have to go over here in the graphics settings. Right now, you can see you need to navigate to the resync at the top. You have to navigate to the resync. Right now, you can see the resync. So if the resync is turned it on, then what I'm recommending is you can turn this off. So that's what we have to do. And once the resync is turned off, you have to just make the change and you have to proceed further. But if the resync is actually turned off, then you can turn this off. Then you can proceed to the game as well. But what I'm recommending is apart from this, most probably for most of the users, when they turn off the resync, it did work it for them. So I recommend you can keep the resync off. That's what I'm recommending. Once the resync is completely turned off, you can try continue playing the game and that is going to help you guys in most cases. So next step is all about what we need to do. After turning off the VSync, we need to change the Windows display rate to 60 Hz. To do this, just go over here, search for the settings. Now from here, navigate to the display over here. We need to go over here into the system. Now go to the display. Now from here, scroll down. There is an option called Advanced Display. Click on this one and make sure the refresh rate is 16 Hz. So make sure this is 16 Hz. That is very important. Once afterwards, you have to check. Make sure we need to try native resolution on your system, which means if your system actually it is running on, for example, just go backward settings, go to the system, go to the display, and you can see the display resolution is being set into 1600 900, right? So if my PC is being set in 1600 900, then what I need to do is I just need to make sure one thing over here in the game, the resolution should be 16 into 900. Like both should be same. It should not be different. It should be same in all the cases. So if the PC is, I mean, 600 into 900, then what I need to do is I just need to make sure both the things should be same. If the display resolution on the PC is 1600 900, then I need to make the same resolution over here in the game. So that's what we have to do. Moving to the next one is all about what we need to do. We just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. That's an important step. So to do this, just go over here, search for the graphics settings, click on this one. Now we need to add the game. I think I have already recently added the game. So what I do is I'll remove it and I'll show you how to add it. In order to add it, just click on the browse, navigate to this PC, go to Oculus F, go to Steam library, Steam amps common, scroll down and navigate to WWE 2K25. Now we need to select this one and we need to add it. So once it is added, just click on the option. Make sure this is high performance, which is running on NVIDIA GeForce GTS 1650. And you have to save it. Next up is all about, we need to install the graphics card for both NVIDIA, if you're on the NVIDIA, and if you're on the AMD, should be installing the graphics card. So what I'll do is, I'll be providing both the graphics card in the video description, which you don't have to worry. So if you're on the NVIDIA, that will take you to this page and here you have to select everything. If you're on the GeForce, select GeForce. If you're on the GeForce GTA, GTX 15 series, we have to select 15 series. If you're on the GeForce NVIDIA RTX 5090, you have to select this one. And if you're on the Windows 11 and go for find, that's what we have to do. And once you select this one, what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down. And if the system is based on Windows 11, so just go over here, you have to go over here. And you have to download the latest version, so which is around 845 MB. You have to download this one. And if the system is on the AMD, you can go to the AMD. So the users on the AMD just go over here, select everything based on your PC's configuration, and you need to go for submit. If the Windows 11 is 64 bit edition, download this one. And if you're on the Windows 10 64 bit edition, you need to download this one as well. Next step is all about we need to turn off timer gap update in in i and i file modes i and i file so to do this just go over here now go to the file explorer go to the documents go to wwa 2k25 and you'll be having a config open this and right now we need to scroll down and navigate to this particular thing that's called what is it it's called timer right so it is timer game update is actually on 
right now it is on so we need to turn this off so set this to turn off then you can save this once it is saved close this and you have to check next one we need to read main config ime file so to do the same process go over here in the file explorer we we'll do this PC documents, go to www2k25. So this is config dot config, right? So we need to rename it, right? Click, go to show more options, rename. We need to rename as, for example, put it old, like save it like old, config dot old, save it, close it, and we have to move to next one. Next one, we need to verify the game files and we need to update the windows. So the updating the game file is quite uh simple both updating the windows as well so go to the windows update and make sure the windows is up right now i'm getting the error which says the version 24x2 is available so i have to download and install it and make sure the windows is up today that's an important thing and also what i need to do is i just need to make sure one more thing that i should verify the game file so the first one what i need to do is i just need to close the game so to close the game i just need to go over here close what the game is right now close it and after the game is successfully closed, I need to go over here, scroll down and I need to right click over here, go to the properties and I need to go to the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a lot of time. So what happens is this is going to cross check every single file of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So uh, it is going to take a lot of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just wait this to reach 100%. But what I'll do is I'll skip this part. I'll make it fast so that you don't get bored up. So once it's successfully done, we can just close everything over here and you can try launch the game. And that's what we have to do. Most probably these steps is kind of guys help you guys out to fix the issue with the WE2020 file is having the issue with the slow motion. And I hope this quick video is helpful. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.